Welcome back to Hard Knocks Games and Hobbies YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about something that is always a concern of mine and my staff here at the shop, especially when it comes to new uh, players to role-playing games, specifically Dungeons and Dragons, because we've seen, especially over the course of the pandemic, a massive upswing in the amount of people getting into role-playing or getting back into role-playing. And the number one issue that we've run into is people with unrealistic expectations of a game. I love Critical Role and like Acquisitions Incorporated and all the other various podcasts. The problem is with new players coming into this game and new people to role playing is sometimes they see that as their first introduction to role playing and thus they expect that when they start playing and are more often than not disappointed because these people who do these casts that are very famous they're professionals um uh, voice actors aren't going to be there to do all the voice work for your characters you're going to have people who probably have never done it before may be uncomfortable doing that um you're not going to have that sort of interaction, uh, especially like the Mambim Bam group, the My Brother, My Brother, and Me. They're professional comedians. Your group is probably not going to be that way to start out with. Not to say it couldn't get there, but we, we, we deal with a lot of first timers who get a little disenchanted that it's not like that. And I just wanted to talk a little bit today about some realistic expectations to have for d and It is a struggle that we have uh, here as, as the staff because we want to guide you in the right direction to things that you want. We can show you how to play. We can get you like an intro session. We can get that for you. But we cannot create your D&D group for you. Role-playing groups are kind of an intimate thing. Um, it sounds weird, but when you're putting yourself out there in a situation where you're going to possibly be trying to like play a character or maybe trying your hand at like, you know, doing voices or things. A lot of people aren't really comfortable doing that with strangers. And so when you want to put together a D and D group, one of our first pieces of advice is, is find some friends you can hang around with for a couple hours that are interested in this, which brings me to my number two expectation versus reality. Number one is you're not getting a professional group. Number two is attendance is an issue. If you wait until everyone can show up on the allotted day and the allotted time, and people are going to always be on time, you will never play a game ever because someone is always going to not be able to show up for the session. Someone's going to be late. Something's going to happen. I think in the last year, my group, which meets every other weekend on Saturday night, I think we've had maybe one session in a year where everyone showed up. And that's just a thing that's going to happen because everyone is stupidly busy. People work jobs with overtime requirements or have family issues like there is the stars have to align for everyone to be there. Like it's got to be the <laughs> vernal equinox for everybody to show up. And so be prepared for that and be prepared to run alts or um, have stand in characters or something. If you have to have a five player group and only four show up that day for that encounter, you guys still want to play, be prepared, have a standby who showed up as a guest star this session. So like, be prepared for that because the reality is not everybody can make it. Hell, I can't make it all the time. And I run this <laughs> store. So like, it's just a thing that happens. Number three problem for new DMs um, and new game groups in general, not just dungeon masters, not just people trying to put together a story uh, in players. Everybody's going to run into this. Someone may try to hijack the game. Um, someone may be, a little boisterous. Someone may want to take over and always talk while someone else may not always want to talk and that's okay. But if it becomes an issue in your group, you guys have to like talk about it and talk about it as adults and address issues and don't be afraid to voice expectation when your game starts. Um, 
WotC, Wizards of the Coast, produced D&D, they've put a big emphasis on consent in games, which is very important for everybody to be on board with what's happening in the game. But it's also a good idea when you start a game group of any sort that everyone comes to the table with what expectations they have. If you've put together the game and you're going to run it and you want a heavily role-playing story-esque game, you need to tell your players that that's what you want. And that way, if certain players aren't comfortable with that or they don't really like role-playing or, or anything like that, then they can, they can bow out. And that's okay. Um, if people are more honest with what they want out of a game, it lends to more fun. And that's what we're here for. Uh, I say it all the time. I don't sell games. I sell fun. And if you're not having fun, then there's no point. So if your group is full of guys that just want to kick in the door and, and kill all the orcs and raid the treasure and go home and they don't want to tell stories. If that's what everybody is there to do and everybody likes that, there's nothing wrong with that. All conversely, if there's a mix or there's a group that just wants to tell story the whole time and, and voice act and do that, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as everyone is on board, the problems arise is when somebody's on board and somebody's not, and somebody's sitting there like this, the whole session, or they're just not engaged, or they're on their phone, and they're just totally not listening or not participating because they're checked out. That's when you got to have the, you know, the conversations need to happen. And uh, we find it best to do this pre-game. I mean, hell, I've been playing these games since 92 when I was 11 years old, and like I got in second edition. We never had these conversations. I played with some older kids. My cousin was older and we played with like, you know, 17, 18 year olds and, and older guys. And so I grew up and, and like, this is how you play. And this is the right way. It wasn't until later in life that I figured out you didn't have to always play hack and slash all the time that you were allowed to write the 10 page backstory for your character for a group that would appreciate it. Cause you could find that. I, I wish the resources that are available now were available when I was a young whippersnapper and first getting into this game. Cause they're, cause they weren't, and we didn't know. And you know, if in my old group, if you didn't play an optimal character, you were ostracized. You probably spent half your game in character creation because they'd kill you every turn. Like it, it just, it, it was traumatizing guys. Everyone needs to talk about what they want and what they expect and how they want to play this game. It's not always going to work out and you may have to shrink or expand your group or find different people to play with. I mean, I've had to, everybody's had to, it's, it's okay that not everybody has the same idea of fun. Point four on the subject of props and costumes or, uh, miniatures and dungeon models and things like that. That's another thing that needs to be discussed with your group what's what is expected what is required uh if you guys' idea of immersion is showing up in full costume that's cool if it's not that's cool too we never did um it's one of those things it's all going to vary group to group player to player what's your you know what's your bag what's what do you like and that is always important to the conversation our biggest thing that we run into um is people with unrealistic expectations of miniatures and painting levels and having terrain and things like that at the game. We especially get these new game masters who are like, I got to buy all the stuff. And like, I would love to sell you all the stuff. Please come in, buy all the warlock tiles, buy all the dungeon tiles, buy the flip mats, buy the miniatures. I will gladly provide you with these things and take your money to do it. But you don't need to starting out. That is something you can build to. You don't have to have it it's fun uh you know it'd all be great if stefan porkney could come and, and and run your game with all his badass dwarven forge stuff but you don't have to have it it's super expensive and it can honestly in my opinion detract from the game if you over focus on the props and miniatures and stuff but once again it all rolls back to expectations have realistic expectations of your friends group, of the people you're playing with. If everybody works shift work jobs that sometimes get overtime, if you're expecting like super in-depth Tolkien-esque storytelling, you're probably not going to get it because it's probably going to get put together in short snippets, maybe one-shot ideas. 
you know, it's hard to do that when everybody's busy all the time. So be nice to your game master. Talk to them about what you want. And game masters, don't be afraid to try things. But don't expect Matt Mercer to be there to DM your game and voice act every character and to like have all these intricate plot lines drawn out. It's most likely not going to happen. Just have fun. It's okay. Please. Don't be so hard on yourselves. And I know that sounds weird, but we've I've seen a lot of people quit because they tried to run their first games and like it didn't go well. It's probably not going to. It's and that's okay. It's like everything. Yeah, practice. Like was it uh you know, the first step to getting better at something is to suck at it. Like it, it's you're not, you know, thanks adventure time, but like you're you're going to get better with practice. Like, you know, you didn't, you know, you don't bowl a perfect game your first time bowling or, you know, it was whatever. It's it's going to be okay. Just remember, have fun. Have realistic expectations. 